You know, from miles away, you can see the beautiful Jacksonville skyline. There are 10 buildings with more uh, than 20 or more floors, and each one looks different. But for one company, it has ties to a lot of these structures we see every day. Alex Osida shows us from the ground and the sky the firm that actually helped design our downtown. This view of downtown gives you not only a perspective of some of the tallest buildings in Jacksonville, but it's also the portfolio of the architects who put it all together. KBJ has developed this city. We are Jacksonville's architect. From Tom Rensing's office, he can see for miles. At every window, in every direction, he can point to a building designed by the firm. We've done over 50 projects here in the downtown area. Uh, and besides the hundreds of projects, in the Jacksonville area. Properties you're sure to recognize, including 17 of the tallest 30 in town. Looking from River Place Tower, Jacksonville's highest point from 1967 to 74, you can also see the Wells Fargo building. BB&T and tucked behind is the federal courthouse. And one that has a special place for rensing, the Vistar building. This is one of the first projects I worked on. That was back in 1987, and as you can see, a companion building in the drawing was later scrapped. If you take a look at all the buildings, they all look pretty different. And the reason why they look different is because the client involvement is so critical to us. Take the Duval County Courthouse, for example, which was lambasted at the time for its heavy budget and construction changes by the city. Rensing says ultimately the space proved to be one of the firm's crowning achievements, similar to a $7 billion airport terminal design in Xi'an, China, a one-of-a-kind facility drawn by architects in this First Coast office. I think it gives us a lot of pride here in Jacksonville. And a lot to look at up and down. Reporting Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.